All right, homesteader family. So this is the first pickup truck load. I got the rest of the wood that I needed over in that corner. I filled this one and this one and started filling this one. So after this one, I have one more area to fill and then the whole uh, side that I'm gonna do. So for those of you that don't know about hooger culture and hooger culturing, basically that's what England, Scotland, Ireland, all of Europe pretty much has. They have hooger culture beds and swales and berms and things like that. And that's why Europe is so green and America isn't. It's because the hooger culture bed retains water. So you get dead wood that's all rotten and stuff like that and it gets wet and it absorbs like a big sponge. And then you stuff it with hay and straw and leaves and grass clippings as you can see over here, you know, the top layers are already covered with straw. So what I'll end up doing is covering these layers with straw and then bring the compost over top and then put some straw here and then do another layer of wood and layer straw and wood and layer straw, wood, then straw and then do everything in compost. So basically it's a gigantic water bank so you don't have to constantly water the garden. And the reason you want some dead wood in there is because dead wood is like a sponge. It absorbs the water where fresh green wood won't absorb water. It takes years to break down. Now you do want some uh, newer wood in there that's younger and greener because that will break down over the years. So basically with all this wood and straw and everything underneath this compost, my tree roots, unlike how we garden and everything in America where we dump the water on top of the soil all the time and the um, roots stay on top of the soil, the roots are going to want to go down to where all this moisture is at. So winter time with all the snow and stuff like that, that goes down, it seeps in, all that wood is totally soaked for springtime and you don't have to water until summer. If you do more research on hooger culture beds, they work very well and you only have to water a couple times a year once you have the hooker culture bed established and it's absorbed water and things like that. That's exactly what I did here for my uh, garden bed and I'll be doing updates throughout the next several months and showing you as everything takes off how well a hooker culture bed actually works. So I hope this is helpful and hope you guys consider doing some type of hooker culture bed on your property or your land because it's a great way to save on water. And out here, we're classified as the desert slash mountains and we don't get a lot of water. So every drop counts. Water is life, life is water. Without it, you have nothing. Live happy, live free. That's the only way to be.